Okay, time to look at uh, the factors and products of whole numbers. And so this is the outcome A1, factors and products of whole numbers. And we'll begin with prime factorization, which is key for all other parts of this outcome. So here's our first example. Uh, prime factorization is writing a whole number as a product of its prime factors. So we're asked here to factor 3,700. Well, this is one technique we can use. We can just say, simply ask ourselves, can we think of any number that divides into 3,700? And well, if I look at it, I see those two zeros on the end, and that tells me that 100 times 37 is going to give you 3,700. Now 100 itself, I can break that down into 10 times 10. And ten, each of the tens are themselves 2 times 5. As for 37, that's actually the end of the line because there are, it is itself a prime number. I know this because I can't divide it by any of the primes less than the square root of 37. It doesn't divide by 2 or 3 or 5 or 7. And in fact, I can stop there. So now I can write out my answer. 3,700 is equal to 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 37. Or we can write it as 2 squared times 5 squared times 37. Our next example is to factor 3,672. Why don't you try that right now and pause the video. Okay, welcome back. Here we go, 3,672. Again, I'll make this factor tree. Uh, the first thing I notice is that 36 and 72 are actually related. 72 is 2 times 36. And that gave away to me that 36 divides into 3672. It goes in one time into the 3600 and two times into the 72. So 102. 36 itself is 6 times 6, and each of those 6's is, is 3 times 2. And 102, well that's 2 times 51. 51 I know is divisible by 3, since 5 plus 1 is 3. So that's 3 times, a oh, bit of a mental math here, oh, 17. Now 17 is itself a prime number, so I'm done. All my factors here, if I write them out, are 2, and 2, and another 2, and 3, and another 3, and another 3, and 17. Okay, so I could also write that as 2 cubed times 3 cubed times 17. Next answer, 1812. Why don't you take a moment and try that out? And I'll pa and pause right now. Okay, so now that you've unpaused, here's what I did so far. I factored out a 2 times 906, a 2 times 453, and a 3 times 151. And now I'm kind of stuck on this 151. And I'm thinking about it, and I'm trying to think of what, well, well, what divides into 151. Or maybe it's prime itself. And so I have a think about it for a second. And I know that the square root of 144 is, of course, 12. And the square root of 169, you might know not, not know that one, that's 13. So since 151 is between 144 and 169, I know that I only actually need to test all the prime numbers from 1 to uh, 12. And if none of those work then 151 will be prime. So let's try it out. Uh, all the prime, low prime numbers, 2, okay, that doesn't divide into 151 since it's not even, 3, that doesn't divide in since it doesn't add up to a number divisible by 3, 5, 5 will only divide in if it's a 0 or 5 at the end, so that's out, 7, oh, I got to think about that and actually try it. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Oh, the next prime is 11. Does 11 divide in there? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, that's it. I've tried them all. So none of the numbers between 0 or 1 and 13 or 12 work. 
Therefore, no number will divide into 151. In fact, I'm stopped there at 151. So now I can write out my answer. That's 1812 is equal to 2 squared times 3 times 151.